Hey, Taylor. Um, I guess just how this, what, what's been your uh, takeaways from that last game, just both in terms of kind of what you've seen on tape and just also kind of how you're feeling? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was a wild game, as you guys know. Um, and there's a lot of good situations that popped up throughout the game. Um, getting a score there before half was huge for us. And then obviously there at the end, um, we're trying to run that four minute offense and we wanted to get a little aggressive. We wanted to end the game with us on the field. So we're trying to get that last first down. Unfortunately, through a pick, um, defense did a great job of holding to a field goal and giving us enough time to go down and score that last field goal. So um, for those situations to pop up the end and, and see us execute it pretty well, uh, that was big for us. So, um, you know, something to build on. Uh, it looked like at practice today you were wearing some kind of a sock with a pad on it or something. Was there anything there? No, I mean, I got a little banged up against the Chargers. Uh, I think I got leg whipped a little bit, so there was a little bruise there. But um, I wore the same thing during the game on Thursday and uh, just being precautious, nothing serious. You often talk about how you use your legs, but on Thursday you only had six rushing yards. How important was it for you to beat a team from the pocket like that? And then why do you think you were able to do so on Thursday night? Yeah, I kind of go back and look at their defensive line. Uh, they're bigger guys um, that really just wanted to collapse the pocket. And um, so the biggest thing was just kind of staying in the pocket and getting the ball to those playmakers. And um, that's what you want to do anyways. Um, so it was good for that to happen, get the ball in those guys' hands, let them do their thing. And um, as you can see, if you look at the stat sheet, a lot of guys touched the ball. Um, so it was, it was a good deal of getting the ball out to everybody. And this will be your first pro start on the road. Is there any sort of extra prep that goes into that? Anything weighing on your mind when it comes to going on the road? Not really. Um, it'll be my first road game starting, like you said. But it's, it's at Buffalo with fans, so it's going to be loud. Uh, there's going to be some silent count stuff that we're working on this, this week. Um, but again, it's a good defense. And you know we're excited for the opportunity and the challenge. Taylor, how much, when you look at the game the other night, staying in the pocket like that, you had talked, I think it was last week, about working on that more this summer. Was that a hard adjustment for you? And you know, just when did you feel yourself getting more and more comfortable just handling in that role? Uh, I won't say it's a hard adjustment. Um, it's something that every quarterback should you know, try and do. You want to get that ball in those guys' hands is what we pay them to do, and that's why they're playing. So um, I mean, that was, that's my first job. And again, it's, it's something I work on every week to get the ball in those guys' hands first. And if then some, if a lane pops open, then I can use my legs. And again, on Thursday, there was no lanes to be had. So um, it was really about getting the ball in those guys' hands. Were there times in practice where you had to remind yourself, just hang in here, go through the progressions, hang in there? Well, that's a cool thing about practice is that's what, that's what you're trying to do. Uh, you don't want to scramble during practice. You're not really getting that, that look. So uh, during practice, you always try and stay in the pocket, um, go through the right reads, and, and make the right decisions. So um, you know. For the last five, six years, I've been working on that. And again, it's just something to work on every day. Then the most serious football question. Um, you seem fairly low key when it comes to getting dressed. Is there any rhyme or reason to the different t-shirts, like where you get them? Just walk us through kind of the decision making here. I just like uh, wearing like graphic tees about with, with stuff that I like. Um, I just ordered a Jimi Hendrix shirt the other day. Um, probably rocking that soon, and um, asked Terry for one of his Scary Terry shirts. So, um, you know, I, I haven't been the biggest uh, dressy type of guy, but um, you know, those guys in the locker room are trying to get me right. Yeah, did they give you a hard time about wearing Fleetwood Mac on game day instead of a suit or something? <laughs> no, uh, they were actually giving me a lot of flack last year because I was wearing some beat up bands and I was wearing the same sweatpants every day. So um, I heard a lot from it last year. Thank you. Good luck. Yep. Taylor, I know you've been asked about just kind of the fanfare, the attention you're receiving, which I imagine is pretty cool. But how do you how do you kind of block out the noise too? Uh, my biggest thing is I don't want the success from last week to equal the non-success of this week, if that makes sense. Um, a lot of sometimes a lot of people get caught up in how they played the pr previous week and it hurts them the next week. So um, yeah, we had a long weekend. It was nice to enjoy it. But um, once you know, Sunday and Monday came around, it was time for Buffalo. So um, again, the, the, the biggest thing is, is to keep doing it every week. And that's that's the goal. How much time do you focus on the game film of, of one game before moving on to the next? 
Yeah, so in the regular week, we come in Mondays, we watch the film from that Sunday, um, and then that's it. You know, once Tuesday comes around, uh, it's time on for the next next opponent. And uh, again, it was nice this week to have a long weekend, um, enjoy ourselves. It was a short week, and uh, you know, we were back in here yesterday watching film on on Buffalo and, and getting ready for them. Why was play action so effective on Thursday, and is that like tempo something that you've used a lot in the past? Yeah, uh, play action's great, um, especially when you're running the ball well and. Uh, when you have AG back there running as hard as he is, um, it's it's good to get those backers kind of up, and then we can kind of hit it right behind them with you know big guys like Logan and and fast guys like Terry and, and Hump. So um, as long as we can keep running the ball pretty well, the play action is a good complement to that, and uh, I think it's a great part of our game. Is, is that something that you would consider like a part that, something that you really like to do as a quarterback, or is it or is it more scheme opponent dependent? Uh, both. Um, I think there's a play action for, for any defense out there. But um, again, you have to run the ball for those play actions to be successful. So that's our biggest deal. When you watch Buffalo's defense, does it remind you of what you faced in practice in Carolina or even here, I guess? So I wasn't there when um, their head coach there, uh, McDermott, I, I believe. Uh, he wasn't there when I was there. But um, you, you kind of see a lot of the same players, like Vernon Butler, um, Mario Addison, those type of guys. Um, but they've been playing together for about three or four years, and they're very sound, a lot of good players. Um, they, they play well together. So again, it's going to be a, a really good challenge for us, and we're excited about it. Ron talks about that a lot, about that continuity. How do you think that kind of helps, not I guess, just the team, but also, I guess, for what you guys want to do with an offense, too? Yeah. Um, again, you watch the film, and they know how to disguise, and they know what each other are thinking, which is huge as a defense. Um, so again, it's just going to be big for our offense to, to stay on cue and, and keep the ball rolling. What did you do with the weekend off? Did you watch the games? Watched a lot of college football, a lot of, a lot of NFL football. Had a couple of Heinekens and uh, <laughs> yeah, a, lot of, a lot of resting. So uh, it, was, it was a nice relaxing weekend. Does that endorsement deal come through yet? I'm trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> yeah. At, at some point, I might just start calling out Bud Light, you know. <laughs> did you see Lamar go for it on fourth down? Were you like, that, you know, that... That's a move right there. That's awesome. And I saw I saw the clip where uh, John was asking him, "Hey, do you want to go for it?" And you know he was all about it. So I think that's that's super cool. And again, he came out on top, and uh, you know, good for those guys. Really picked up in Washington. Uh, it was after the Tampa game last year. I really tried to get him something, and my agent said that they had sent me a 24 pack at home. Never received it. And they said that uh, they can't deliver to my address when there's a gas station a block away that has Heineken's. So you know, I, yeah, yeah. I know, I know you guys are different quarterbacks, but I wonder, like, if the way he uses his legs to extend plays, do you see any, any similarities between you and Josh Allen? Is, is he a guy that you look at at all? Uh, he's a gamer. Um, he goes out there and he makes a lot of plays. Um, obviously, he's five inches taller than me and he has a rocket arm. Um, but, you know, I see some similarities in the way that if, if something breaks down, he can kind of make something happen. So um, he's a fun quarterback to watch, and uh, I'm excited for our defense to go against him. Were you always a Heineken drinker? Or, like, I mean, do you, do you like the beer? <laughs> I just I, I like to enjoy, you know, three or four beers, just kick back and watch some, watch some football. So, um, you know, I'd rather drink some beers and take some shots, so, you know. All right, because there's that clip of you in the XFL, like, crushing. Yeah, so I was just talking to Mike Silver about this. He was asking about that. So the thing about the XFL that was cool is there was a lot of incentives. So when you won, you got like a $4,000 bonus. So, and the one thing that we didn't know is the team that won, you go back in the locker room, there's Bud Light Seltzers there for you. So we're all getting back in the locker room. There's, I want to say like four 24 packs of Bud Light Seltzers. And we're like, what's this for? He's like, you guys won, it's for you guys. So, you know, with that and everyone just winning $4,000, we were all pretty pumped. So we were having a good time in there. And it was um, that was a cool thing about the XFL. He had a lot of fun. Good. Thank good. You. Appreciate you guys.